narcissistic and the mm. other would be that they're actually confident in their intent. Okay, now you've indicated a number of times while we've talked that you are confident in your intent. Yeah. Okay, so 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 if I was uh, like a, a persistent skeptic, I would say, well, you clearly offended 12,000 people. That was the number you came up with. Mm -hmm. Why are you so confident in your intent that your belief in the, your own goodness in relationship to comedy trumps the fact that like 12,000 people are telling you that you said something offensive? Because if 12,000 people are sending that, I would say 100,000 people are saying they loved it and they've been through domestic violence situations and they found the joke very funny that they are actually able to deal with that situation in a comedic light. Oh, right, right. And I, I commend that bravery. I can only imagine what it takes to get through something like that. But if I can help in any way, even if it was on accident, that's I, right, I, I right. feel great okay, about. Okay, so, so part of what you used for calibration was the fact that as far as you could tell, honestly looking at it, first of all, that you were just trying to be funny and that that joke didn't differ from a thousand other jokes that you've told. Yeah. But also that... A marked majority of people agreed with that. They it got laughs yes. in the club. Where, well, that's kind of how that's, you know, right? Yeah, people I actually laughed. I tore that bit for the past five months in probably, oh God, two hundred cities. I did that right, joke in right. and opened with it and yeah. crushed every time, which is why I kept it for the special. Like that's right, that's right. how you gauge a reaction. Look, some jokes won't be funny. I've, I've, I'm currently building a new show right now. I'm constantly, I'm doing so many new jokes right now. Some of them will stay, some of them will stay. You yeah. have to gauge. Yeah. You have to try to figure out what works and what doesn't. And, and you have to listen. You have to listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so that's a good, well, that's good too, because one of the things, so Freud regarded jokes as a route to the unconscious, like a, as, a, as part of the royal road to the unconscious. Ooh. Well, the reason for that is that you don't, you don't get to decide whether you're going to laugh if it's a genuine laugh. Mm -hmm. If someone says something that's funny, you'll laugh even if you're embarrassed about laughing afterwards, yeah. right? So the funniest jokes are actually the ones where you laugh despite yourself. Yeah, of right? course. Right, right. Well, but what that shows is that when you tell a good joke, you're striking someone very rapidly and very hard in a part of their being that can't be faked. So there's something dreadfully honest about comedy because you can't, no one laughs at a joke with a real laugh, and you can tell if it's a real laugh, yeah. unless the joke is actually funny. 